I love this question, commenter. Didn't Frederick the Great introduce the potato to Germany because everyone thought it was poisonous, but it wasn't? Well, no, but we are on the right track. For centuries, a lot of people in Europe thought that the potato was poisonous. This being a common thought, because in reality, the majority of the potato plant actually is poisonous, except for, you know, the, the tubers, the, the actual potatoes. So for centuries, people thought that potatoes were either outright poisonous or would give you diseases like leprosy, uh, scrofula, just all kinds of different stuff. And while Frederick the Great didn't necessarily introduce the potato, he simultaneously did popularize it through a lot of potato edicts. Namely the fact that as an emergency food, peasants were required to plant potatoes pretty much wherever they could, just like on the side of the road or wherever. But the reason this was done was actually genius. You see, in a time of war, the army is going to requisition a lot of the food supplies of the peasants, specifically to feed the army. The easiest way to transport this food was as flour, but you couldn't really transport potatoes easily. And so by ordering peasants to grow potatoes, this meant that the army could seize more grain, so the army would have more food and the peasants also wouldn't starve. Win-win.